Hypnosis to Change Your Life with Dr. Steve G. Jones. So the question is, how, hip, how effective is hypnosis for astral projection? And this is where we get into the occult. This is where we get into metaphysical issues. Um, astral projection is the, the concept. Some would call it a theory. Uh, I don't like theory because theory makes it sound like it's not true. Uh, where your here's your body and here's your soul, and they're normally aligned, but your soul can leave can leave your body, and they can be in two different locations. Uh, it's probably better represented by circles. I, me I remember in high school in the '80s, I I had to do a computer program project, so I actually did this using circles, using the the basic computer language, um, and I showed how the circles went together and they went apart. So. Normally, your body and your soul are together, and uh, most religions, let's say one of these is your body. Let's see, we'll do that the opposite way. One of these is your soul, one of these is your body, and normally they're together. But when you sleep at night, you're, they can separate, and you can have astral projection a lot of times. Uh, thoughts of falling and flying or astral projection thoughts where your, your soul is actually separated from your body. When you die, most people uh, readily accept that your soul leaves your body. Uh, when sometimes uh, during surgery, people's soul leaves, souls leave their body and they're able to see what's going on on the surgery table. They're able to see themselves being operated on, uh, hear things, maybe see things they wouldn't ordinarily be able to see from their perspective on the table. Even if their eyes were open, they're able to see something that's going on that they should have been visually blocked from. So we have a lot of evidence that points to the concept of the soul being able to separate itself from the body. Uh, I created a program a while back to help people astral project, and I did it using hypnosis. Uh, using hypnosis, uh, you're able to um, put yourself in a hypnotic state and then do this. The reason you use hypnosis for this is because a lot of people have trouble believing it. A lot of people, uh, although they want to do it because it sounds neat, they have trouble believing it. And uh, I didn't believe it myself until I did it for the first time in high school. I, my soul left my body. I had an interaction with someone I don't normally talk to. The next day I asked him what he dreamt about. He told me the exact conversation. There's no way he would have known that conversation. We weren't anywhere near each other in the school. Even though it was a military school, everyone had to sleep there. We were nowhere near each other physically. We met in the astral plane. So this gets into a lot of metaphysical concepts. But the way hypnosis works, the best way to use hypnosis for this is to calm yourself down so you can believe that you're able to do it. And that helps facilitate astral projection. Otherwise, you may have difficulty believing in it and it, it may hinder your ability to for your soul to leave your body in a conscious state. So that's where hypnosis comes in. Hypnosis to change your life with Dr. Steve G. Jones.